Ta faka moi me te faka fetai atu ki ta tatari ki mata ta ma wairu a tapu me ngana he rapa noko te manga e hei tau toko mai ai nei a ke nei ai. A tere roa te tata kata a koho ki mai. Ano. <laughs> koho ki mai. Pera no te kore roa pai tu pai hinga ko te mea nui e mahi a nei tata i te mahi. A nei re roa video 80. Eight Fano. Ete iwi. Ai. Uh, so, <coughs> ete pōnei, uh, ete whakarohia e taiwa ki a, a whātoro atu ki ngā kororoa a mō ngā mātoro a tā tātou pāpā. He oi anō, uh, he pēra anō ngā tua hua tanga, he oi mā te tua kana nei aiwa kororo e, e awaha ana ki a koutou katoa e te marea. Uh, nei rero, kau aiho mana. Ai. So, kia ora nō tātou, here we are. Mārama tanga na minute. <laughs> um, that's never ever turns out to be a minute, but I day 88. So the kopapa of these um, last couple of days have been around ngā haringa a te māngai. So what were some of the things that Ratana did? What were the places that he travelled? And what were some of the things that he did in those areas? Um, one of the things that we probably want to, and that most people would already know, um, Ratana's influence uh, was not just on a nationwide scale. So in 1924 and 1925, Tau Pōtsiki Wurumi Rātana did a hiringa of the world. And so in 1924, uh, he travelled around um, the Australian, I think that's the, um, the the eastern side of the world. And then 1925, he did the western side. And so basically this kōrero tonight is really just to add some kōrero on to that and to give some pretty interesting stuff that some people might know, but probably I'm, I'm guessing that majority of people out there do not know. So, we've already covered a whole lot of kōrero around um, the prophecies of our uh, Porupiti Tafito, our Porupiti Māori, in terms of their prophecies that they had about the arrival of Taupo Tiki Wurmiratana. So, this kōrero we're actually sharing is around prophecies from across the ditch that people... Um, on the other side of um, the Tasman Sea, saw the coming of Taupotsuki with Muratana. So, as you'll see in the caption, um, the place that we're going to is Callan Park, which is in Sydney, Australia. Um, and we've also got a, um, a, a link there that you might want to check out. So, in the 1800s, there was some... Um, uh, at the time, it was like a um, uh, like an, a mental institute. Um, that there were two young boys that were there. They were actually twins, and while in there, um, they were actually they had some spiritual gifts on them, and they had the prof uh, the, the gift of foresight. And obviously, the people at that time didn't understand, weren't able to comprehend that, and they just thought, oh, well, these fellas are insane. But Porangi, so they went into the Fare Porangi. And so while they were in there, they created some markings that actually prophesied the coming of this Marmatanga and the 8th of November. And so in the link, you'll actually see these stone carvings. You'll see um, one stone carving which has a, um, a very clear picture of a fetu and a marama. And within that tohu is a number 1918. And so bear in mind, Fano that this was around the late 1800s that these two boys uh, carved out these markings in stone while they were in this mental institute. And so these two boys actually saw the coming of Tau Pōtsiki Um And you, when you start to see these sort of things, these are hardcore evidence that you cannot deny. These markings were done way before the time of Tau I think probably before he was born. And so these young boys who were blessed with these gifts of foresight were actually, they actually carved these markings in um, because obviously their voices were suppressed. They weren't able to um, speak out because they were placed in a mental institute. And so they found another way to convey a message. And so in that link, you'll find that. Um, so we're just giving some ground corridor tonight, finally, because hopefully tomorrow or the day after, We'll get some of our whānau from Australia to share a bit more of that kōrero and also some of the things that Ratana did uh, when he went on the world tour. And so some of the places he stopped at in Australia, uh, Sydney, and I think from there he went to Hobart, 
from Hobart. He then went to Melbourne and then to Adelaide. And so, I, Fano, will check that stuff out tomorrow. But I'm actually, go and check out that link, Fano. You will be amazed. And this is really, this sort of corridor reminds us is how significant this kopapa is. And so I, we're doing a bit of this research for you fellas. Um, and the link's there. So I encourage everyone, go and have a titiro. Go have a look. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting Fano. Um, and if you go have a look on the link, come back. Um, and write some of your whakaro in terms of what you saw. And what your thoughts are about um, these carvings. These prophecies that were made across the ditch. About Topot's Guild Miratana and the Kopapa that he would carry. So, Noreira Fano, uh, that's session 88. So, kapoi. Uh, hey, kupua kia kia koutou e noho a uh, kete kiana. Uh, for those of you who are sitting with full baskets of ma tauranga, kia kaha koutou te, te piri mai ki ene o ngā whakapauhotanga. Hei painga mo te iwi, te tuku atu i au o korero. Uh, kia rungo i te maria i ngā mātoro a tā tātou papa. Um... <laughs> Just uh, he, he paku pānu i tēnei whānau. Um, so me and a few others from um, the organisation that I work at from a 9 to 5, um, we're actually going to the Healing Our Spirit 2018 conference. Interestingly enough, it's in Sydney, the same place where these carvings are. Um, so this is a bit of a little, um, I guess, a little plug. Um, I am doing a couple of... Um, fundraisers to get myself there um, we've already covered some of the costs but there are a whole lot of other costs to cover so I'll actually um, I'll throw those details up those of you who want to uh, support and totoko um, kei te pai uh, but yeah and that's really important because you know we are retracing the steps and the and the actions of our um of our, our, our Papa Taupo Tsuki and Muratana, um, that the mahi carries on, and we're not keeping this mahi just within our, our nation here in Aotearoa, but we are actually brave enough to go across the seas to share this kopapa of our Marmatanga. And so November, end of November, I'll be going over there, and hopefully in the future, uh, we can have a bigger group of our, our rangatai of our mōru who are going there too. And I know uh, Paui and Tracy will be there too, They've participated in a lot of um, Healing Our Spirit conferences. And so, I, I'm going to be going over there to represent, uh, you know, Tato Tiwi Māori um, and Tato Tiwi Mōrihu Hoki. So, I, I'll put that kōrero up later on, whānau, and if you want a tautoko, I, that'll be greatly appreciated. Um, actually, I'll probably close this and maybe we might do another video after this. So, just a whakamārama about that. Um, but, yeah, I. And stay tuned for the video I've been coming to Toto Kote Paratane. Ah, the reader Kia Uhi Akatoa, Anga Kroria, Tirunga Nawa, Kirunga Kia Koto Katoa, Irunga Itika Ingwa Kaha, Tamata, Tama Waido, Tapu Minga, and Hirapono Kotimanga, Hei Toto Komai, Ayane Akene Ai.